Hey guys, stupid sheep 883 here. Um, today is quite a sad day for me because it's time to say goodbye to the beloved and trusty Sony Trinitron. I think it's a 15 inch or 14 inch TV. It's not widescreen, but it's the first or one of the first big back TVs to have sort of like a flat screen type, you know, actual screen before. They it like bulged out a bit. It bulged out about here, but this is completely flat. Um, it's got some ports down here, just composite, oh not composite, I don't know what it is, AV I think, and headphone in there, you know, just picks back up. On the bottom you've got the source selector, I'm not too short this one is, volume down and up, program down and up. Or basically, what it's probably going to be a choose. There's the remote sensor, standby light. It doesn't always be on standby, by the way. I only go off on standby when you turn it off by the remote. I've got a little taser so I've got an easy on off. Big on off button. And the lovely Sony logo in front of it all, on, all on top of it all. Um, we're saying goodbye to because my parents recently got a new flat screen TV for their bedroom so I don't need this one anymore. Now originally this was used in the kitchen, then it was used in my brother's bedroom and then it was used in my parents' room. Just basically it's just basically being a backup. I mean we did buy it from you um, for the kitchen but then when we got a flat screen TV for the kitchen uh, you know from then on we just used it as a backup TV for any TVs that have died this will step in until we get a new TV but it's time to say goodbye so we don't need it anymore. Um, there is no speaker here. Actually, I think there is a speaker. Hang on. Yes, yeah, there's no speaker here. This is just decor. The speaker is only on this side, this bit here. And the rest of it's decor. The speaker is only on one side, which is quite weird. And it sounds horrible. That's the biggest letdown. Because it had brilliant picture, but horrible um, audio. Then you've got the massive back for the colour tube. Yeah, and sadly also it hasn't got a carry handle, but I think that's a brilliant TV. Okay, so around the back, there's enough a massive Sony logo on the back, embroidered in, if you can hear the ridges. Then the sticker to sign Sony Trinitron Colour TV, made in Spain, be improved. And then there's just some crap on that bit I don't even know about. Just cool inventor, there's no fans, just to let heat up basically. Here is where I suddenly suggest you um, put your cable if you're going to travel with it because it was a portable TV. That's what these TVs took like the portables back in the day. Now, over there, well, you can't see it, but basically the flat screen, like the 19 inch and all that flat screen is now your portable. If I unwrap this cable, you'll see this is the plug it has. And then if we tip it all the way up. Okay, well, this is basically my hold and it, all, it goes all the way down there. That is. Um, here is your aerial antenna port for just normal analog TV, and then there's your SCART port for things like games, consoles, DVD players, etc. Um, and it did get used with the PS1 at one point, and I think the PS2 as well. When it was my brother's room. And there you can just see all the memory boards and all the chips and stuff. Um, we've kept the cable up here since we got it. I think it's part of the setup basically. It's very creaky, we just like that. It just goes on there and then on there. It's very creaky, it's old. But there's so many professional equipment, always lasts a while. I have got the remote for it somewhere, guys, but I'm not going to show you it. I don't know where it is. There we go. And that's just how we kept it, because that's part of the setup in the manual. If you like the cable on then, if you have travel with it, there's these two hooks here, and you basically just begin to... I'm not going to do it all, but I'll do it, so you just begin to wrap your cable around 
these bridges like that and then obviously if I just show you one more time you know and you'll continue and you'll continue just to do that um, I'm just talking about being it now um, these two are on TV, they're two very popular back in the day and they lasted for years. This one does still work, but we just don't need it. And it's a really crap backup because all it could do is um, AV, well not AV, sorry, um, analog TV and SCART, you know, it's basically it. They can't even do um, thingamajig, what do you call it, the red, white and yellow, um, AV or whatever it is, or composite, they can't even do that. It's a really bad backup. It's fine as a backup if you just use like your DVD player or something like that. We don't. We've got a lot of stuff to connect to our TVs, and the flat screen's the only way for us now. So we can't really use this as a backup anymore. So it's going to go to the skip or the dump, whatever you guys call it. Um, but it was a brilliant TV for us. Let's just put the cable with it. It's a brilliant TV for us. It's lasted years. It still works even. It's quite a shame it's just been crushed because literally they probably think it's broken and it'll just get crushed into so a big square. It'll be horrible. It's a big heap of plastic. It's pretty bad to be honest. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.